Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have a great article for you guys from Seeking Alpha. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys could check it out. So this is not good at all. Tomorrow morning, before the market opens, we will get Verizon's third quarter results. Previews that are coming out are already showing that Verizon is going to be in a decline close to 3% on its quarterly revenue. That is not good at all. That's going to, if this is true, right? This is what the this is what the market and the previews are expecting. Verizon is expected to post a 2.5% decline in quarterly revenue when the U.S. telecom company reports its third quarter results on Tuesday before market opens. If this happens, the stock's going to immediately decline. It's gonna that's gonna that's gonna be a big deal. I was already anticipating them to take a loss in customers and churn to be up year over year versus last year, Q3. But to see a 3% decline in quarterly revenue, that's a big hit. And I've, and I've said this for a while now, that if Verizon continued to give its customers to cable, eventually it would affect the financials. And maybe it's already starting to show. I, I thought it would be maybe 24, 25 time frame. But maybe, just maybe, this is already starting to show. And they have been hemorrhaging customers at an accelerated rate. And they've been, you know, they've been handing them off to cable, to other MVNOs, T-Mobile, AT&T, you name it. They've been dishing out bit by bit. And they haven't been able to fix that. And as I said in the previous video, Verizon should stay, you know, guns blazing, try to present the best network possible and don't really change much because everyone else is getting closer to them in pricing. And they're trying to do the same strategy as them. So why change, right? T-Mobile is trying to present the best, largest 5G network that comes with the premium price now with the plan changes. So why should Verizon change? Well, something's got to give. There's something structural that they need to change. I don't know if it's some of the deals. Maybe the cable deals aren't as good as they maybe thought originally. The deal, the structure of the deal wasn't, it wasn't disclosed publicly. We don't know what type of deal cable is getting and we don't know what Verizon is getting from cable. But if you look at how cable is acting and what they're doing, it must be one hell of a deal they got, right? Comcast is getting rid of the 600 spectrum that they acquired. They're, they're doing subsidies now on top of giving away free lines. So that deal that they got from Verizon must be immaculate. But in return, it's got to be hurting Verizon to an extent. Like I explained in previous videos already, if that customer was, was paying Verizon directly X amount of dollars... And they're not going to cable where they're they're paying less on cable and cable is paying less for that customer than they otherwise would have on Verizon. That hurts Verizon. Yes, they don't have to service the customer the same anymore, right? Customer service, yada, yada, yada. But it, it's still if they're if they were paying $90 with Verizon and now cable is only paying like $35 for that same customer, it's still a loss on on on, on money for Verizon. So maybe that cable deal didn't pan out as well. Some other MVNO deals that they have structured like Mobile X, you know, maybe those deals just aren't as good for the Verizon business. Now, I do fully anticipate business, the business segment enterprise to do well. I expect them to grow. And I also expect that to lower the losses that they may take on the consumer side, right? That's not official yet. But if you're looking at the decline in revenue, the quarterly revenue, you can anticipate a loss. I'm thinking anywhere from 60 to 150,000. That's probably what they're going to post in losses. In Q2, they lost 136,000, but that was offset by business gains. In reality, they lost like a little over 200 or close to 300,000, if I remember that correctly. And I'll be looking at that tomorrow morning. I'll be looking at the numbers. I'll be looking, I'll be uh, tuning in to the quarterly earnings call. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Let me know your predictions. But this is not good. If the previews are coming out already saying that Verizon is going to 
have a decline on quarterly revenue, that is already a bad sign. So make sure you guys stay tuned, like, share, subscribe. See y'all in the next one. Peace.